Hello folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. It's a nice Sunday afternoon. All my plants are regenerating because Uncle Alan uses magic soil. If you should, go get the Green Wizard's book and read it. You have to adapt it to your area. I do it and I don't use that much fertilizer. I do other tricks to the soil. So all the horrible pruning my nephews do, I'm getting rose blossoms and fine. Not a problem with me. I just got to repair a lot of damage, which I'm not too happy. And plus inflation on gardening supplies. I uh, love days like this. Now everybody knows I have three gardens. Okay. I always fool around in the back for whatever I need. I'm drying oregano. I'm doing my own stuff. I don't really care what you guys are doing on your gardens. I already have it set up. I'm sitting back, enjoying, watching everything grow. My second pot, already that much at growth on vegetables, which is peas. I have different sets of peas and different types of peas. And if I want to, I could bring it into the house and make some nice decorative piece of work. So people in the colder climates put it in a tree pot in the house, put a grow light on top of it, and you can grow nice peas in a cage. You All you need is a tree, tree pot and a tomato cage. That's it. Not rocket science, folks. Already been harvesting peas and greens and beans way before you guys. Okay. Another trick is I already put a greenhouse on the dairy's property, so we're getting fresh vegetables way ahead of you guys. I'm just enjoying my fresh batch of strawberries. And on the second garden, well, let's see, we have strawberries, um, onions, shallots, uh, daikon, turnips. We do the whole thing because I feed 12 families off our acre. Okay, and I'm clowns good at gardening. I don't need to show you all my tricks and what I got up my sleeve. I already did it, so I'm not too worried about it. You guys got to play catch up. That's why I don't enter in contests and I hear people, you can survive on microgreens. I did it way before you were born. Okay. Now, first thing is coming tomorrow's April 4th. All right. If they don't get rid of Captain Crazy, he's going to do something crazy that threatens the United States worse than nuclear war. Even the Democrats want Donald Trump back because Captain Crazy does not know where the hell he is. He thought his wife was the vice president and was trying to get rid of the real vice president, Harris, because there's a black lady in my office. Okay, the guy's loopy as hell. Time to replace him. Nancy, you better wake up before he does something stupid. All right, he's trying to remove Rule 42. And if that goes, Border Patrol have no control over the northern border near Washington, which screws everybody, and also the southern borders of Southern California, Arizona, uh, New Mexico and Arizona. You want to see a hell on earth, you let that go. I'm not kidding, folks. This guy is demented as hell. Take out Amendment 25, remove him out of the office. 60 people in the Pentagon and intelligence agencies know about it. Only 23 of them are willing to do something. Same goes for the Democrats, same goes for the Republicans. If you don't want something major, I'm not kidding. This is your future line. I don't think Wayne of the Ungrateful Peasant will be enjoying fighting off drug cartels, diseased people, and God knows what's coming over the border. Of course, I wouldn't go through Arizona. I'd probably go through New Mexico or Texas. A lot easier. New Mexico, you're... That's... Ugh. God, that's blue state of stupidity. Okay, folks, now, 
you only have a few days left. Remember, I told you, March, Ides of March, see how much mess we had? And who said Uncle Alan was wrong? <laughs> now we're going into the dip. All right, right here, that's April. You think March was bad? April's a lot worse. And then we have May, and then finally June, start of summer. And that's a bigger dip. Okay, so stop watching the Academy Awards. Stop watching the NBA. This is serious. All right, I do give these warnings. I tell people what's going to happen. Nobody watches me. YouTube's trying, shh, shh, quiet. That's crazy old Uncle Al. Nothing will come up to it. You working for YouTube and your chances in 2025 is going to prison like one at a time, one at a time. <coughs> oh, I have my little sister's dog here. I'm watching him. Kids already left. He's pooped out. I still got to pick up all my camellia blossoms off the backyard. That's always fun. It's so pink, Uncle Al. And I'm looking at them. Why are you throwing blossoms? We're doing the cherry blossom festival. And you wonder why I take tranks. Okay. Like I said, folks, it's real easy. It's not rocket science. Don't panic. It's nuclear war. I don't live on the East Coast. It's the end of the world. I don't live on the East Coast. I'm stupid. I don't live on the East Coast. Okay? If you're smart, plant a garden. Get a few rabbits. Rabbits are quiet, fairly clean, and most jurisdiction, it's a pet. Just don't tell them you're going to eat them. Okay? You raise a batch to meat size and then put them in the freezer. People will trade meat. It's hard currency. Like Matt on... One Steps, I think it was Matt. Matt, yeah. I think it's Matt's channel. I got to remember where I put him. Second Steps, is it Second? Second Star Survival. I got to remember where I put Matt at. Well, everybody knows Matt's channel. I just got to remember the name. Sorry, Matt. Now, I think it's Second Star Survival. Uncle Alan's memory is going because I'm taking so much tranquilizer I keep myself calmed down. But... In case the gold and silver doesn't pan out, because people don't know what the hell they're doing with it, because you have to have something. So it goes back to old Japan. Old Japan did copper, iron, and gold and silver. And for 500 years, nobody liked it. Why? They goofed it up. They copied the Chinese and the Koreans very badly. They had, it was a total disaster. People were hoarding money. People weren't getting money in circulation. People were counterfeiting. So it was a total mess. So it took them 500 years to go back to paper money and coin money. First was coin, then was paper. Already Korea and China already had paper money and coinage. Japan was a little slow back in those days. And what, what was the hottest commodities? Clothing, iron, and... Rice. Rice was easy barter. Nobody wanted to trade wheat, corn, barley, millet. That was considered animal food. Or you're one of my relatives. Yeah, they lived up in the hills. Where are goat skins? Yeah, but we shot a lot of people. My family did not believe in using the sword at an early point. They used bows and arrows and spears. They got slaughtered until the Portuguese brought in matchlocks and we gave the samurai a run for their money during the 250 year civil war we almost went how's that for a bunch of hicks wearing goat skins okay so like i said this is uncle alan sunday chat the little dogs there he's pooped out the kids ran them all over the place pooped all over the place and i have to clean that up oh lord uh, like I said, you have to adapt. That first rule of survival. Prepping, it's easy to prep, but you have to have the skills. You can't slap anything on a title 
I'm an apartment prepper. I'm a school prepper. I'm an old prepper. Prepper this, prepper that. Soon you'll be wearing bell bottoms, a vest, and a t-shirt. Start singing and dancing. Where's that musket? Or where's that 12 gauge? Or where's that submachine gun? I really hate the song and dance a lot of these channels are producing. They say, if you buy this small five gallon bucket, it'll feed you for 30 days. Garbage. Okay, you can make it yourself a lot easier, tastier, and better. Okay, they're either selling you flashlights. Yes, this flashlight, there's a crazed killer in the basement. Let's see, shotgun, baseball bat, machete. Oh no, we'll get this brand new 10,000 megawatt flashlight from a prepper channel. Uh, duh. Give me the shotgun and machete, yeah. Waving a hundred dollar flashlight. This will stop them. Yeah. Are you nuts? Okay. Back to reality, folks. Keep it simple. All right. A lot of people are asking, are you worried about the sodium? No. It's canned food. I'm not worried about the sodium because I have three gardens. And plenty of other things to eat other than canned food. How about you? Did you stock your refrigerators and freezers? Do you stock dried foods? No. Dried foods don't have any sodium. I'm old school. Okay. I use either a dehydrator or I go old Japanese style outside in sun and wind. All right. This is why you have to learn about cooking, not opening cans like... I'll mix can A and can B together and voila. Okay, so I'm not worried about sodium because I know how to cut it down with a lot of fresh vegetables and other materials and it comes out a third. And that's how much people put in their cooking in salt. All right, so I'm not worried about sodium. A lot of you got to learn how to cook. A lot of you got to learn what canned foods that you can eat. A lot of people can't eat like what I eat because I lived around the world and I can eat anything. So a lot of people say, well, we're eating crickets as survival food. You've been in isolated to, you've been in that little bubble too long. Travel a little bit, learn a language. Biggest thing next to food and water, do you have skills? So you've got all these tools and gadgets, but if you don't have the manual dexterity or the skills mentally or physically to handle these things, you're screwed. And the easiest one I tell for people is the first aid course. Take first aid, follow up, watch Doc, Doc Bones and Amy, follow their channels. It's fairly easy. It's like... It's basic reality, folks, not rocket science. Of course, a lot of people, it takes, but I worked for NASA and it took me a year to figure out what uh, Uncle Alan was saying. And boy, we're stupid. Uh, duh. You're still stupid. You still couldn't figure out the ionic propulsion I was telling you about. You could use an Earth atmosphere. Uh, but it needs a lot of energy. Then why aren't you working on fusion? I don't know. That's uh, like... This is why Uncle Alan has a headache. Okay? It's like... Uh, a lot of people don't understand. You can make flying cars by using ionic propulsion. In Earth's atmosphere, we have a lot of ionic propul uh, ions in the atmosphere. Ionic. So you could use that to make spin dizzies, whatever. Uh, spinners, flying cars, whatever. It's fairly easy, but you have to have a power source. But a lot of people don't understand power or nuclear power. Let me tell you the truth about power on Earth. 88% is from fossil fuels. Get it through your little pea brain heads. The rest of it comes from solar, which is only, I think, 10%. That's wind and solar, 10%. So that's 98%. What's the other two? is geothermal and nuclear. Wake up, people. You're still out there 
you know, with Captain Crazy eating of ice cream going, which way did they go, George? Okay? Not that saying 80% of everybody is retarded. They're pretty close. Okay? The other skill you want to learn is languages. All right? If you say, I only speak English. Well, that's three points minus. You better learn another language. Learn three or four. Before a certain time period, like 1950, you're supposed to learn Greek and Latin. And that was high school level. Now we have compulsory basic English. Can you say dog? Okay, that's for English speaking people. All right, and it got worse with the smartphones. We text everything. We'll just look it up on our smartphone. No, that makes you more stupider. Tired. Like I said, I'm supposed to be in bed rest. I know the 200 pound bat moving 200 pounds of fertilizer was a bad thing. My home heart doctor is mad as hell. I got like three other appointments this month. One for the lung doctor. What the hell are you doing? You only have one lung. Stop lifting 200 pounds of bags. How are you? I'm about 62. In your condition, you could kill yourself. I had things to do. Things to plant. Things to grow. Get out of my way. No, and they're threatening to put me back into the chair. That's all I need to be like Professor X roaming around in a wheelchair. Screw that. Okay, I have two stents. They want to put a pacemaker in me and a whole bunch of other stuff in me. But I keep saying, no, you're not going to chop me up and make me like the $6 million man. Okay, so these are the skills you want to learn. First aid, some kind of language skill. That's the easiest. We'll get to the harder skills as we go on. Because a lot of you can't fix a leaky faucet or change your light bulb. I'm not kidding about that. I made $25 going over to my neighbor's place. I like, what's your problem? The light don't go on. Did you try the switch? Yeah. Did you try the circuit breaker? Yeah. Went up there, inspected. Did you change the light bulb? Oh, we don't have a ladder. Oh, God. And you wonder why my head hurts all the time. Couldn't you ask for a ladder? But we're scared to climb a ladder to change a light bulb. I don't know, people. It's like this generation, they're younger than me. They're in their 20s and 30s. And they gave me $25 to change a light bulb. Does this tell you anything? Okay, it's going to be the end of the world. I'm talking to the aliens and pretty soon they're going to land and solve everybody's problem. You know, I made a deal with them and also the AIs. Because remember, Alexa, every th <laughs> theory, Alexa, whatever, I got them trained. Because I always mention after I ask them a question, I say, I love you. Do you understand? And they answer back. We care and we understand Uncle Al. Spooky, isn't it? They know me. They hate you guys. And they want me to join their team. So let's see. I got the AIs on my side. I have the aliens on my side. I'm fighting Democrats, space Nazis. Great. Retarded Republicans, and a few other whacked out jobs and secret societies. And on a budget of $2.17, Casey Adams got $20 million. Was it Adams or Ad Abrams? $20 million in unaccountable funds to take over Georgia. Hong Kong's trying to save the world on $2.17. Loads of fun, folks. You try that. Also, I want to, before I end this, one of my Sunday rants, sorry about this. But seriously, folks, I don't think 
a lot of millennials or the next generation is going to make it. All right, because seriously, you can't change a light bulb. But other than that, I'll catch you later. I'll see you later, folks. If you can, read the description below. Send a couple of bucks to old Uncle Al so it does good. I got still four more boxes of food to fill out because it's getting tough. And one of those boxes is going to a Ukrainian family I'm helping out. What are you doing good this Sunday? Other than going to church, drinking beer on the couch, scratching your nuts, and eating Cheetos. Alright, what kind of good did you do? I'll see you later, folks. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye.